Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cutie Design. I'm Janine and this is uh, the last part of this whole series um, and in this tutorial I show you how to create this timer with a itsy bitsy script and uh, of course this is the longest tutorial of this three parts um, with uh, creating this whole setting right here and um, how to create the most of the um, timer in the patch editor. We just need a little part of script. It's not too complicated. Just make sure if you cre create the script that you don't uh, misspell stuff and make sure that everything is right. And I, I, will, I will create some mistakes for you so you know what mistakes you can avoid. And yes, let's start with this tutorial. Boop, boop. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> again. And yeah, we now create the timer. Yeah. And we have um, two problems. We start with the timer settings, as so with the real setting right here. And uh, then later on, we create the whole game logic behind that or the whole logic and yeah it's it's a lot first of all we create a new 2d text we need a text so this is um this same settings of course like the others before narrow uh, add magenta to it and we go to 36 Right here we see uh, the number and this is our, call this one, this is the second second. So we have three, five different layers later. Zero, 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 N and the N is uh, the thing that will change. So this one right here. And we go with the um, size in the width filled so this is re relative and make sure that we a we add this one right here so this is uh, the whole setting for our two the text positions and we now need the information from our top but in this case i want to create a sender so we can uh, separate the two different patches from each other. So we create a sender, insert top. Okay. And we create a, well, we make a receiver. Now we add the position output to our patch editor and we create a pack for two vectors, so X and Y. Add this one right here, nothing changed, yay. And add this one right here down below. So, and this looks okay, but we want it in the same alignment like this play. And we create a multiply, multiply, it's this is the first one and 1.0.85 so the alignment is like play it looks okay for me and now we need the alignment right here and this one is minus 20 like sunday so it's uh, it closed with sunday with the last part Okay, and now we create this for the other parts. So we want to make sure this is the first end, then this one, double uh, punct, <laughs> and zero, zero again. Command D, 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 D. Okay, this one is... And we need, of course, from all of them, the position. And change this to this sign. Uh, 
and we need um, from our insert this version right here so this is create another sender it's maybe not necessary this is our timer y position and we create a um, receiver or for receiver okay maybe put this between these and pack two vectors and three more or two more no three okay connect these and this and you see the setting right here now we change uh, the x value so this one is not the right one this is so and sorry Minus. I just tried it before, so the settings uh, you can change them, of course. Like you, if you think it's um, between these two is too much space, um, no, no problem to change, change, change it, Ch -ch -ch change it. <laughs> minus fifty-five, and the last part minus seventy. So, and that's it. That is the whole setting, the position for our um, whole 2D timer text position, text timer, text position, whatever. So I create a comment around that. It looks pretty professional, I think. And also in blue, why not? It's not important but it looks nice so now you just add the resize wall so make sure it really works and it looks nice so far and that's it no <laughs> that would be nice right and I think there is a little problem right here Ah, okay I created whoops some we don't need them. I think when I um, create this sender, maybe I created these uh, bunch of uh, objects. So, oopsie, go to the game logic of our timer. So how we work with the timer. There is a little part of a script in this, but it's not, hopefully not too confusing. Um, we create a JavaScript. I think uh, I don't use the other before. We need two outputs for our patch editor and there is a timer second and a timer minute. So this, the values are um, numbers. So this is our timer second, sec, a second, yeah, not second, sec, sec, second, second, okay. <laughs> and the other one is timer minute and we use these two and just want to make sure I have enough space okay we link it to the numbers we want to use so to this one so this part right here and this part right here so where it includes the value we create from our uh, animation loop later and uh, transition uh, translate it uh, from the values we get to a text so go to your script double click on that boop, boop, 
And in my case, brackets will open. Could be possible that you have another editor or no editor. I uh, use brackets. And at first, we search for the scene. Scene re require. Because we need the value from our uh, text editors. And then, of course, we want access to our patches. Require. And patches. Then we create a promise all. Make sure there is no misspelling or uh, wrong characters and round brackets and square brackets and then add the scene dot root dot find first right and um, we search from our uh, 0 0.0 m, so the last one right here, for this text. Then comma, make sure it's a comma. Okay, for this one. And then patches, we want to link it with the output patch, outputs, dot get scalar from our timer sec comma copy this and ch change a little bit right here so zero and this is min we don't need this comma so the output is uh, we created before the timer min and the second min and we want to link it to the text layer with this name and the text layer with this name for the minute and the number. And we now create, just want to add this. You don't need to add this right here. It's just a commentary. So you can follow um, the whole process a little bit easier. So now we add the function to it. Dot then function and results, call this one results brackets and we create a const timer counter second is equal results uh, square brackets zero semicolon and a const time sec is our this is like this one here so we call this timer sec maybe like this results square brackets one and copy this one it's a little bit fast, eh? I know. Minute and minute and two uh, or three, sorry. Sorry, this is wrong. So, so position two and position three. And now we want to just um, add the, from the time account a second text. So this one right here. Copy this name text so this is you know uh, we have the, the this is our text layer right here and we want to uh, make changes in the text field use this one right here dot to string and that's it so the text we want to use the number we create from our um, counting um, 
add it to a string and send the string to our text. And the same for the minute. So this is min, min, so save. And ah, we, we missed a step. So close this one, save again. And timer min. Ah, okay. We also make sure that this is spelled with a T. Looks fine so far. Just make sure clear this whole console stuff. And reset. And it looks nice. You don't see anything uh, because we have no values right now. When I close this, but you see it right here. The set in script and also right here. Set in a script. So we just need to make sure that we see a value. Now we need a value. We create an animation loop. Animation loop. This is a duration by 60. And now we need a transition. Transition. The transition is also linear and we just use the number. We start with zero and go from zero to 60. We want to create a round number, of course, that we use for our timer. So round the number and add it in this case to our timer seconds. So now we see the second right here. But when it comes to 10, this number, the zero, we want to make sure that it change or disappear and leave the place for the next part. So for, um, so again, and to make sure that we, this is possible, we need to make sure that the visibility, so it disappears and we uh, work with in less than and greater than less than greater than and use this for create a switch Boop. and this is our setting for turn the null on and the other setting for off And now we search for the value Boop. of course here <laughs> and add the first value to it. And now we make sure this is our nine and this is our nine too. Maybe 9.5 we have, we can use the rounded number so it works better with the nine um so use the rounded numbers yeah and you see it looks nice <laughs> okay the next step is what if we create the first um minute if we create an equal exactly, equal exactly, if it's equal exactly one with a delay by zero pulse, add a pulse to it, um, now we create a counter because um, if we hit the one value, and then we start with a counting. So counter increase. So like this. Yeah. So this works. And the delay is just so uh, it doesn't start with first um, number. I just can can try it or 
if it maybe it doesn't make a difference it doesn't make a difference okay no delay we have a counter maximum 59 for, for example and now we need of course uh, this one right here if we have more than one min uh, more 10 minutes then switch again three make no sense and we can also add it a little bit different so if it's equal exactly in this case would be um, nine also nine then create a switch and flip it off or oh, no so stay with this one flip it on but not on so this one right here we need also add a greater than with equal exactly it wouldn't work because when it hits nine the, the it would di disappear but we have uh, oh if it hits uh, 10 10 that should work so when it hits 10 disappear and we have the minute counting by 10 but of course we don't need to wait we just add this one that works okay back to 60 and yeah that's it now we just change the color for every single text layer right here and the play button don't forget the play button yeah and now we are that's it that is the whole series if you missed a part for example uh, how to create the glitch or glitch or how to create this stuff right here um, watch these tutorials right here and i hope you enjoy this tutorial make sure you uh, don't miss uh, the miss, miss the next tutorial so subscribe hit the notification bell share it with your friends and we see us next time bye bye